9-11 marks the 10th anniversary of the terrorist attacks in New York and Washington. Bold acts of hatred carried out against the American people by their own national government in conjunction with Israeli military intelligence and other agents of espionage. In perhaps the most heinous act of high treason of all recorded history, American citizens were callously murdered for the benefit of APAC and the money changers. What better time than the 10th anniversary of 9-11 to make a renewed effort to drive out the money changers from the National Temple? The Zionists are not satisfied with your selfless blood sacrifices for their holy selfish needs. Indeed, they will never be satisfied until the last drop of Gentile blood is shed on the field of battle. The souls of the dead cry out to heaven for justice, but their pleas fall on deaf ears. What will you do, fellow Americans? Pick up a rifle and don a helmet for Israel? Or rather, will you arm yourself with the Constitution, a burning sense of conviction, a keen sense of righteous indignation, and oust the traitors from office? A program of national direct action must be called for and implemented if we ever seek seriously sweeping social change. The whole of the people, the laborer, the white collar worker, the frontline soldier, the wife and the mother in arms, forging a united front of national unity and purpose can and must restore the sovereign and sacred republic. Only class solidarity and union will allow us to overcome the terrible evils that we face. Marxian notions of class warfare and divisiveness between the rich and the poor will only expand the already draconian power of the Zionist power broker. How can we fight the money changers when we're fighting one another? Autumn is slowly making its way on stage soon enough. Christmas will be around the corner. Who will you buy goods from this Christmas season? Will you buy from the Zionist department store chains or the foreign merchants? Or will you buy American and sacrifice a little extra money? Do not merely give. Sacrifice for the good of the nation and the people. We must hit the enemy where it hurts, which is invariably their pockets. Money and the acquisition thereof is all they really care about. Whenever you can, buy local. Keep your local merchant in business. Do not sell out to the massive corporate chains. In doing so, you only further bind the shackles of corporatism and crony capitalism around your own ankles. Wherever possible, boycott your enemy. Make them pay for their crimes against not only America itself, but against the American people and the people of the world, including the smallest and weakest among us all. The future of America is, as it always has been, bright with promise and hopefulness. I yearn for the day where I can raise my children in a truly free and prosperous America free from Zio-Communist domination, the day where the sun rises once more over America with promise and optimism, endowing this great land from coast to coast with peace, prosperity, and everlasting brotherhood. We owe it to our children to transform this pipe dream into stark reality. I pledge eternal resistance to the money changers. Will you join me now and fight as my brother?